Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to discuss Balkan Crisis of 1875 to 78, resulting into a full fledged war between the Ottoman Empire and the Russian alliance of the Russian Empire, Serbia, Montenegro, Bulgaria, Romania, and Austro Hungarian Empire. During the final stages of the war, the Ottoman were supported by the United Kingdom. In order to better understand the topic, it is recommended that you should watch our previous video titled as the Crimean War. The state of Ottoman administration in the Balkans continued to deteriorate throughout the 19th century. Reforms imposed by European powers after the Crimean War did little to improve the conditions of the Christian population. Additional factors included the Russian goals of recovering territorial losses and during the Crimean War of 1853-56, re-establishing itself in the Black Sea and supporting the political movement attempting to free Balkan nations from the Ottoman Empire. Austria also consolidated after the turmoil of the first half of the century and sought to reinvigorate its long-standing policy of expansion at the expense of the Ottoman Empire. Meanwhile, the nominally autonomous de facto independent principalities of Serbia and Montenegro also sought to expand into regions inhabited by their compatriots. Nationalist and irredentist sentiments were strong and were encouraged by Russia and its agents. On the other hand, since the start of the Crimean War, the wartime requirements and building new battle and warships put a huge strain on the Ottoman economy. In the meantime, a severe drought in Anatolia in 1873 and flooding in 1874 caused famine and widespread discontent in the heart of the empire. The agricultural shortages precluded the collection of necessary taxes which forced the Ottoman government to declare a sovereign default on its foreign loan repayment on 13 October 1875 and increase taxes in all of its provinces including the Balkans. The decision to increase taxes for paying the Ottoman Empire's debts to foreign creditors resulted in outrage in the Balkan provinces. Under these circumstances, the first to rise against the Ottoman was Herzegovina, which initiated the revolt against the Ottoman rule in 19 June 1875. Following Herzegovinian footsteps, the Bulgarians in Ottoman Bulgaria and Macedonia also revolted against the Ottoman Empire in April 1876, but were soon suppressed by the regular and irregular Ottoman army units. But on 30th June 1876, Serbia and Montenegro also declared war on the Ottomans. By the intervention of major European powers, a ceasefire was concluded in the autumn 1876 and Constantinople Conference was organized, which proposed reforms for the Balkan provinces in the early 1877. However, the Ottoman Empire refused to accept the proposal. Resultantly, on 15 January 1877, Russia and Austria signed a written agreement. These terms meant that in case of war, Russia would do the fighting and Austria would derive most of the advantage. After reaching an agreement with its main Balkan rival, Austria, and with anti-Ottoman sympathies running high throughout Europe due to the Bulgarian Arto cities and the rejection of the Constantinople agreements, Russia finally felt free to declare war on Ottoman. On 12 April 1877, Romania gave permission to the Russian troops to pass through its territory to attack the Turks. On 24 April 1877, Russia declared war on the Ottomans and its troops entered Romania, resulting in Turkish bombardments of Romanian towns on the Danube River. On 10 May 1877, the Principality of Romania, which was under former Turkish control, Turkish rule, declared its independence. Due to great losses in the initial battles, the Russian Empire asked Romania to intervene. On July 24, 1875, 
1877, the first Romanian army units crossed the Danube and joined forces with the Russian army. Respond, responding to Russian crossing of the Danube, Usman Nuri Pasha occupied the fortress town of Plevna, known, currently known as Plevin. On 19 July 1877, the Russians reached Plevna early in the morning and later joined the Romanians. Thus began the siege of Plevna. On 9 August, 9 August 1877, Suleiman Pasha made an attempt to help Usman Pasha, but he was stopped at the Battle of Shipka Pass. With supplies running low, Usman Pasha made an attempt to break the Russian siege. On 9 December, in the middle of the night, he attacked on a two-mile front and broke through the first line of Russian trenches. Usman Pasha was wounded in the leg by a stray bullet. Making a brief stand, the Ottomans eventually found themselves driven back into the city. The next day, Usman surrendered the city, the garrison and his sword. At this point, Serbia, having finally secured monetary aid from Russia, declared war on the Ottoman Empire again. The Russians launched a final offensive that crushed the Ottomans around Shipka Pass. While continuing their advance, Russian army defeated the Turks at the Battle of Tashkesen and took Sofia. The way was now open for a quick advance to Constantinople. However, under pressure and intimidation from the Britain, Russian forces stopped at San, St San Stefano. Eventually, Russia entered into a settlement under the Treaty of San Stefano on 3rd March 1877 by which the Ottoman Empire would recognize the independence of Romania, Serbia and Montenegro and the autonomy of Bulgaria. After the Treaty of Berlin in 1878, Austria-Hungary stationed military garrisons in the Ottoman Vilayet of Bosnia and Ottoman Sanjak of Novi Pazar which formally continued to be Ottoman territories, taking advantage of the chaos that occurred during the Young Turk Revolution in 1908. Bulgaria declared its formal independence on 5th, 5th October 1908. The Russo-Turkish War was also fought on the Caucasus Front. There, the Russians acquired the region of Batum, Ardahan, Kars, Olti, and Sarikamish, and reconstituted them into the Kars Oblast. Although the Ottoman Empire endured tremendous territorial losses during this war, the Turks still maintained a presence in Europe as well as control over the Middle East. If you like our video, you can watch previous videos of our same series using the playlist link being flashed on your screen now. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Goodbye.